I am in favor of a five member board. Yes, sir. So if you decide to go to five members, do you three vote on it? How does that work? It, they're appointed today by the chairman of McLean County. Today? Is but it out there? Uh, well, he recommends it, the oh. board. So uh, like the board. When will he make his decision? I mean, can the people get out there and say, hey, I want to be on the yes, board? Yes, yeah, and I highly encourage anybody okay. that has an interest to reach out to Mr. McIntyre. And express some interest. Don't so, ask if you know me, so you better tell him no. <laughs> so, well, hang, hang on. Here's my question, and this is this is rhetorical and not meant to piss anyone off. So I hope it doesn't. Um, how did you get on the board? I'm a dick. You how did I get on the board? Yeah, you were. I got appointed. You were appointed. How did you get on the board? How did you get on the board? Uh, you were appointed, correct? Yes. I was appointed. How did you get on the board? I was appointed. Well, no, I was so, going, so I was let's going. take ourselves out of this situation right now where, where emotions are high. I can do that because I'm not involved. If you saw this situation and you were in it, the situation has worked until some, until I'm going to say this as brutally honest as I can say it, and I hope you respect, I, I, I respect your feelings. Mm -hmm. What it looks like mm -hmm. are people are upset about a decision, and now the process is occurring. Because in the past, like you said, I don't like the process of two people picking the board. But I, I, but, but they picked you. I know. I wasn't, I wasn't great with it either. So I'm just being devil's advocate here. So if we can get past this position, if we can get past this issue, yeah. if we can move forward, then is the time to talk about should this go to a vote, should it not go to a vote. I, I, I don't know what I'm in favor of because what I've seen is a process that that. I heard it work for a while. It hasn't worked for the last seven months. So the process that's been in place for several years is, is inappropriate. Now, I don't. I don't. I know this: making decisions from an emotional standpoint, mm -hmm. making big changes from an emotional place, does not lead to the desired outcome. There are many times it leads to different outcomes, and some of them are good, and some of them, you know, better the devil you know than you <coughs> don't. All I know is that emotions are really, really high. And unless, you know, I, I personally don't want to see a whole bunch of changes so things calm down and we move forward and handle things professionally and then make a decision saying, hey, what should we do? And that, I mean, that's just, and again, please understand, I'm, I'm trying to say things to both sides because I, I, I'm starting to see sides and, I, and what I, I'm, I'm trying to call out everyone here. I, I don't, I, I just want, what I want is if my house burns down and my kids are in that's it, right, me too. people go in and get it. I fall down my stairs and break my foot, right. I want some guy there to that, that, That's what I want. So, yes. yes sir. To finish my question, I guess, though, so you three would decide if you went to a five member panel and then it would, you would, how would the board suggestions go to the county board of who would be the final two members? Sure. So, what, what we would have to do is either hold a special session like we are tonight or put it on the agenda for next month's meeting. We would have to vote on it. We would have to pass the ordinance to increase the board from three to five members. At that point, we send that ordinance up to the McLean County uh, office, and they will begin the process of selecting <coughs> the next two people, which is why I said for anyone who is interested in joining the board. Who would you contact? Uh, John McIntyre, or actually <coughs> our, got, our uh, representative. Scott Murphy. Yeah, 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 sure. Sure. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Let me give you a number. Write this number down. Are you ready? It's 557. What's that? I'm I was going to give you a number to call. No, that's okay. I'm okay. And, and you ask for Julie, and you ask for an application. You have to ask for an application. So there has to there's an application process. Now, did you ask for an application for it? I did not ask for an application. The, the application is to get your name in front of John McIntyre. If, if that's I'll what take I take that number. What's the number? It's five five seven eight one one zero. Eight one one zero. Hang on, we have to think about that. They told you they had to have an application, but you didn't. Well, I, I went out. To, I went out. To, I went out to the, to the county board's website and looked at it myself and did all the research. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I agree with you, but I, what I'm saying is, you're saying it's on the county board. You have to have an application. Right? I, I don't think you have to have an application, okay. but I don't know John McIntyre, so I can't pick up the phone and call John McIntyre. So what? I, what I wanted to do is follow the process as much as I could. So, and, and, and yes, I'm saying so the number was that? Uh, that's Julie's number. I apologize. It's 888-5110. 
That's Julie. She's the, she's the secretary for the administration of McLean County. You just ask her for it. Um, and she will walk you through the process of downloading it from the website. I can probably walk, tell you what the website is on, but you have to like. I, I'm just. Yeah, let's say I'm interested. I just wonder how. <laughs> Kathy, did you have a question? Well, I thought I did, but uh, I just want to speak a little to this nepotism that seems to be such a big issue within the department because we all know small towns are so interrelated. How do you get away from that? I have served as a member of this fire district, as a volunteer EMT for almost 10 years, okay, before it was a, a paid position. And at one time there were fathers and sons and brothers and uncles and cousins and sisters. And, and how are you gonna escape that given the population size that we have? Because typically you're gonna find a firefighter in this district between the ages of about 20 to about 40, okay, um, they're typically young men that like the action, they like, they like, you know, being involved. There's not a whole lot of white collar people, I'm just using that as a, a term loosely, um, involved in this kind of work. So we don't have a whole big selection here. We're gonna have family in this fire department. And, and you will find that in every small town you go to. So that really just does not set well with me about the nepotism. And as you well know, my husband was president of the fire district and his son was the fire chief. So it has happened and there's been other members other fire chiefs that had sons on the department. So and I'm not saying this, this did not just surface and now all of a sudden we're having problems because somebody's son wants to be an assistant fire chief or, or EMT leader, whatever. I'm just, you know. This has been going on for 30, 35, 40 years. It's been going on since day one. Day yes. one, yes. there's always been fathers and sons and mothers and brothers on this department since it was chartered. I would challenge you to look at nepotism as synonymous in this kind of situation and, and with other small town, close knit communities as legacy and lineage and aspirations for being better on the department when a parent is in an officer position that child grows up in that home with that parent in that position they aspire to get on the department but then with that parent in an officer position they aspire to be greater than just on the department there are some that get on the department and just enjoy being a firefighter wearing that black hat but then there are those that get on and aspire to be greater than that and be able to ascend the ranks and make change positively at the highest that they can possibly do so. And in the eyes of a small community, that is not necessarily considered nepotism. And to build further on that, I frankly am highly offended that you feel that the only way that I would ever ascend in this to any kind of rank of leadership is primarily by her word only. That I am un in incapable of doing it by my own merits and dedication. That is what you stated earlier, is that you felt that that was the dynamic that was happening on the board, is that their goal was to put their, put their children in a position of leadership with no merit and no deservingness. I'm John, not saying that I don't. You will recall that we did, before Janice got on the board, we gave you lots of extra opportunities to grow Correct. independently and for yourself and professionally. Mm -hmm. And 
what happened to those opportunities? Well, suddenly after Mr. Menint started doing my reviews, I started getting fairly bad reviews. That's me. Up until this point. But what I'm, I don't really want to get into that. With everything that has happened tonight, Mark, all of the, all of the things that have been raised, I want you to truthfully answer why you why do you think that we should still trust you to be a member of this board and make decisions at the highest level for this department financially ta for the taxpayers why why should the members of this department all the way down to the ones that have been on here two months to the ones that have been on here 20 years mm -hmm. why should we still trust your ability <coughs> to rightfully carry out this position Great question. I believe I bring a spirit here that is unique and it always has been in that I don't have a background like you folks with EMT and fire. I had never been around that environment at all. So for me, starting, coming in, I thought I brought a unique perspective, uh, specifically to the finance piece of it. I have. So I have gone through, I have helped to steward the refunding of the bond issue for this department, saving the taxpayers money. I have gone through, I have negotiated contracts for both purchase of the ambulance as well as the refinance of the reefer that was originally done before I got here, saving the taxpayers a lot of money. I have the best interest of this department at heart. I mean no ill will with any action, any decision that I make. I try to remain objective and I try to do it with the good intention of making fully informed decisions. I have always done that and I will always continue to do that. Yes, sir. Now, now I'll take the other side. Um, if we go to a five member, member board, don't they have to trust you two people less? Yes. Good point. Did you say trust him two people less? If there's, if, let, let's, say, let's say, for example, um, from the things that he has said he has done from the outside, mm -hmm. it's taxpayer, that sounds good to mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. me. You don't trust him as a fire part, but he's not on a call. Right, I got you. He, he's That's not anything funny. there. If there are two more board members, that all five of them are looking at things objectively, mm -hmm. you don't have to trust him as much. Because there, like there, there are four other people. I'm just saying, you know, I, I get that there are, or he decides. I'm not, well, I'm, I just call him out. I'm not on anybody's side. But what I'm saying is, from a taxpayer perspective, you have, I have to trust him less if there's five of them. That's true. And I would hope and pray that they would be truthful and not tell lies. I mean, I can't trust him because he has, it's in black and white where he's written these messages or these uh, emails and it's thinking and then he sits here and tells us he does not I, and his <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say uh, so that's what I'm saying I, 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 I know just, from the outside that I don't think there are any clean laundry except for mr. Clark well thank you that uh, there are any clean laundry <laughs> you know what you said you didn't have any friends here you do now <laughs> <That's> like, nice. <laughs> nice no I uh, um, I it's going to take some time for people to trust each other. Yeah. Well, as long as the people walking through my door trust each other. I think this five member board thing that you're talking about is wonderful. The reason I bring up the other situation is because through an email that Mark was involved in, we are going in John McIntyre. We should be able to have Mike Manette put back into chief by the end of May. That is why I'm talking about this stuff. I've never had a conversation about putting Mike Manette back in power. In, in context of that, what would have even precipitated I, that comment? I cannot speak on behalf of John McIntyre. Feel free to ask him. I do not know what the context of that message was about. If you will see what I sent prior, read what, what my email was to him. I don't have that. Oh, you Let's don't. See. Okay. I have remained objective through this entire process. I have taken the email, I 
have sent it to him, whatever the case may be. I have said, here is the vote for this. You know, here is the vote for that. That's it. I give the facts, and that is all I've done through this process. So you want the best for the I taxpayers? I truly you want, the, want the, best the best for the for community you. and for the fire. And for, absolutely, and so for everyone else. Wouldn't you appreciate a new trustee that come in with both barrels going when they know all this and you're not aware of I it? Would, I would love to have two new trustees that come in guns of, yeah. of, of Blair. Absolutely. That have uh, intensity that have passion, right. passion for, that bring unique skill sets to the board. Yeah. Okay, I think we're done for this evening. Thank you very much. Can I say one thing real quick? Oh, yes, sir. Just one thing, I've been waiting for a long time to go back to when Janice was asking you questions. Um, we made a comment, on, don't quote me on like dates or anything like that, but I believe you said back in October, you felt that this was a perfectly functioning department. Or said somebody at some point you said you felt it was a perfectly functioning department and it just wasn't that long ago. Um, I, I guess I feel like if you feel that way, I mean, you know, if you're truly going to consider all of our members, the EMT, the firefighters, everybody, um, in on your decision process of who gets what spot, that may be something you ought to ask them as well because I think, in my opinion, you are sadly mistaken. This has not been a, a perfectly functioning department for quite a while. You know, and that, that, that's my opinion. Thank you. You know, I would like, you know, maybe for you to consider when you talk to people about, you know, their thoughts and who gets what spot, maybe you should ask them how they felt it was going in the last year or whatever, you know. Thank you for that, John. No problem. Yes. Absolutely, no problem. Okay. I have one yes. more question. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, if, this, if, if, it's, if it's this board's intention to go to a five-member board, do you intend to have that voted on into the county board prior to the next county board meeting? Because your meeting is typically the night before the county board meeting? It, it is. Um, we will probably, uh, it sounds like everyone's in favor, so I will probably hold a special session prior to so that they can start that process. So it, it's, been brought up, it's been brought up by some people, I won't mention any names, mm -hmm. that Mr. Clark will, wouldn't have a voting right until mm -hmm. May 1st? We've got to figure that out, yeah, because it's been voiced, that concern. So clearly I would want that to be clarified first. Before I just don't want to cause any more problems. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody does. Yes, sir. Hey, Mark, I'm sorry I'm late. Okay. I, it's a long day of work. No. Um, I just want to kind of fill you in real quick what's going on. Uh, some of the members last night met. I'm going to say like the black almost no officers were involved. Just because we're trying to move forward with everything that's going on and all the negative uh, publicity. And so we met last night and we kind of got a three-step plan put in place that we're going to kind of work toward to get everybody united again and move forward. Uh, you know, the first step was last night. The next step is uh, what next Wednesday night. We're going to have a, an actual association meeting. We're going to meet with the officers then. After that, we're going to have our third step, which is all of us members meet with the three trustees or five, whatever it may be at that time. Uh, last night, though, we did unanimously come up with a decision that we felt that we had to address to you right away. And as uh, the letter we got here, I just wanted to give it to you so that way. Sure. You guys have it. I don't. Can you read it to us, Mark? Uh, yes. So this is a letter uh, headed with uh, Downs Community Fire Protection District. It says, we the undersigned met on the 18th day of April 2018 as a group in the interest of the department. We have resolved and agree that in the best interest of moral and continuity do not believe that former Chief Mike Minette should be reinstated. And we've got one, two, three, four, ten signatures. And like I said, there was no officers present at the meeting. Um, we just you know, felt that that was something to be addressed right away. Sure. You guys can take that information and do what you want with it, but we felt like we just needed to get that to you guys right away. 
like I said, thank you. That was uh, the first step. We've got two more steps, and then on that third step, I mean, we look forward to all sitting down and meeting together at one. So, right. if you have any questions between now and then, I have a question. How many guys were not at the meeting? I don't know how many's on the department. I have no idea. We had four officers that were not there because they were not invited. It was just a volunteer meeting. Um, we needed to be able to talk very candidly with each other because there is unrest within our officers, which currently comprise. Okay, with, without the officers, how many other ones are there? I believe there was. There were four total that did not attend. That I'm not going to name. Oh, I don't care what their names are. I just want to know if, if you, there was 10 or 50 on the department and you only 10 showed up. 14 meter, 10 or 25 meter. <laughs> is that what you're yes, about? pretty much. Seven, there were seven missing, ten there. Two is that including the officers? Uh, seven includes, is that the seven? Is, is that yes, that seven officers? includes the four officers. Too. Okay, so there's really only three fire, regular firefighters, yeah. EMTs, or whatever it was that was missing. Firefighters, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. thank you. Is seven, everybody so there seven assigned? out of ten. Yes, correct. Yeah. It was unanimous. I mean, yeah, it was, there. This was we yeah. spent four hours almost together talking last night because of everything that's going on, we have a lot of bad things going on, and we just... We need to move forward as one. So we're working really, really hard with each other to resolve some of these differences. And I, I think we had a great meeting last night. It went exceptionally well. And I mean, we're looking forward to going forward. So thank you, Pat. Yeah, no problem. If you guys like to have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you. Yep. I will make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Second. Real quick, can I, uh, who, second. Who get a copy of my name? <laughs> I'm sorry. Could I make make a request? Can I get a copy of the minutes where it was discussed about initially discussed about the five member board? Yes, I will make sure you get a copy of those. Um, can I have your name? William D. Clark. As the as the voice of the room, what I'm hoping from the from what we'll, would we'll make taxpayers feel a little better is. These these meetings, uh, I the the Downs the village of Downs does a great job of announcing their meetings, giving you access to their meeting minutes, all all of the above. Boy, I would sure like to see that for this department as well. So from the outside, when people point you to a blog and say, it "Seems like this is a three ring circus," it would be nice to go back and look at those minutes, so you wouldn't have to come to a meeting to ask for one. So somewhere on your action items, that would be great. Thank you. It, will you uh, just hold up after the meeting? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Right uh, the motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, right. signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.